Okay, new table saw stop here. Uh, the, the change here is uh, the stopping mechanism on here. You have this knob that squeezes your stop here and it's not, it's solid as a rock, all right? So that's the good news. When you get this from me, you'll get this slot here so it's not secured yet. So you'll take the tape off, you'll take the screws out first, take the tape off, put it in the slot. You wanna have these little knobs here away from the, the blade. <clears throat> so it's away from the blade, you're pushing it in, and this is just riding a, just a minute of the table saw, um, this um, tape is. So you put it in there, and then you have your fence adjusted such that this tip of this here will not, you won't kill it, cut it with your blade. So you want it this way, just a little bit away from your blade. You tighten it down and then you turn it over, put your screws on, now it's nice and tight. Then the next thing you wanna do is zero out your fence, uh, stop here according to your uh, blade squareness. So you'll move this such that When you braise your blade, it just nicks the end. You don't want to take more than a couple thousands or three thousand, whatever. Very little anyway. So when you you put at the end and you raise your blade, it'll cut this squared up perfect then. Then at that point, that's your zero for now. I would hit zero. And then you go and adjust it such that another number and tighten it down, cut it. And if it was too small, when you measure it, it is too small, you want a bigger, so you go a positive number. Let's say it's 8,000 too small. So then you bring this, dial it into 8,000 positive. If it was too big, you want it smaller. Let's say it was 7,000 too small or too big. Then you have a um, negative number. You want to make it smaller, so you have a negative number showing up on here. Um, yeah, so that's right there. That's two twenty four thousandths of an inch negative right now. You just adjust it to the right negative number or the right positive number. Hit your zero and you should be good. If not, do it again. Now, when you change, right now I have 72 seconds set up for 72 segments. I zero it out. If I were to change to 48, you follow the same procedure where you cut one is too small. You want it bigger. Move it to, uh, let's say it was 8,000 to Small, you want it 8,000 bigger, you go at 8 thousandths of an inch bigger. Here, you move this till it says 8 thousandths, right? Right there, I'm using my finger here, push it, and that's what's going on. So there's 6 thousandths, so leave it there. I mean, if you want more, there's 8 thousandths. Then you hit zero and test it again, you should be good. So um, well, there you go, you can go to my site, segmentedturning.org, and uh, purchase it for $250 plus shipping. Thank you.